to, to the next topic. Uh, Frankie, you, you spoke about Vasi. Vasilevsky's been insane since game six overtime against the Leafs until now. He's literally been a brick wall. And it's he's led Tampa Bay to sweep the Panthers. They just steamrolled right by them. Does it make you feel better about the Leafs watching what Tampa was able to do to Florida? And it sure looks like they're going to the final at this point. And the Leafs were able to take them right to the brink. They were a shot away. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make one statement and one statement only. This is just my personal feelings. And if you feel any better about this, you're exactly what's wrong with this fan base. Okay? If you are okay with another team sweeping another team and makes your you feel better about your own team, then you are accepting mediocrity. This fan base is accepting moral victories over results, and it's making me sick to my stomach. This is not acceptable anymore, in my opinion. Enough is enough, okay? If it makes you feel better about yourself, then you know what? <laughs> You're better off finding another fan base and us hugging a tree and, and singing Kumbaya because it doesn't f- fly for me anymore. Uh, this is something that I also credit the Islanders. Now, there might be some stuff going on there in the background. I don't know what happened. But the Islanders just let go of one of the best coaches in the uh, in the NHL after failing to make the playoffs, after reaching the Eastern Conference Finals two years in a row. Okay? There might be other things there. It's fine. But you know what that shows me? They took a step back, and they got to get back to where they were. They don't accept failure. They don't accept taking two steps back. That has to be the same mentality here. So if you guys are okay with that, just because Tampa swept Florida, give yourself a Barry Horowitz pat on the back, but don't come to me with that crap because I ain't buying it. I I I 100% agree. What, 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 why would you feel better? <laughs> Tampa just swept this. Like, oh, if we played Florida, you probably would have lost to Florida. Like, okay, how, so- like, how do we, how do you know? Like that that how does it translate to? Well, we're 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 you're not Tampa. You're a different team. Maybe okay. maybe Toronto hey. plays Florida and and and, and let, loses. Let me rephrase the question: Does it make you feel better about the Leafs coming back with a very similar team, same core next year, knowing that they were able to take this Tampa team all the way to the brink, one shot away, same deal? But, you know what I'm saying? Okay, but like, here's my thing: What did you think of Toronto going into the playoffs? That they're a good team, and what did you know about Tampa going into the playoffs? They're a good team. Yeah. Yeah. What cha- what changed from Tampa beating Florida now to being like, well, we knew Tampa was a good team. You knew Toronto was a good team. You knew Florida was a pretty good team, although I said they're a Fugazi, which they were. I didn't think they were that good, but they're still a pretty good team. Like, they led the league in scoring. Tampa swept Florida. Maybe if Toronto had played Florida, they might have lost them. We don't know. You know, we talk about matchup. You 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 can't sit there and say, well, now all of a sudden you're not good. If you are going, if you were saying you should break up the core and now you're saying you shouldn't break up the core because another team beat another team, what the hell are you talking about? That makes absolutely no sense. Imagine exactly. if you were in the NCAA tournament and you, you played a number one seed and they beat you and, you and then they won the tournament. Do you feel better that they won the tournament? You're like, wow, <laughs> that's an accomplishment that we lost to a team. You lost. You're a loser. 